Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms. Got another project we're getting ready to get started on. As you can see, I got the truck and trailer hooked up. We're getting ready to run up to Tractor Supply. Uh, back during COVID, we ended up uh, buying one of those cheap uh, above ground pools Walmart had. And it was all right. It worked a little bit, a little trashy, but uh, hard to keep those things clean. And uh, uh, about the, well, I guess it was about the time COVID broke out, we decided I was going to put in an in-ground pool and uh, went and got prices, was kind of getting the ball rolling on it. And then when COVID hit, my $26,000 pool became a $60,000 pool. So we decided to hold off. So since 2019 or so, 2020, I guess it was 2020, we haven't had a pool. It gets hot here in the summertime. So I figure another year or two, we should be kind of back to prices going down. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to make a stock tank pool. And uh, we're on our way up to get it right now. Pretty poorly strapped down. Hopefully uh, it's enough to get it on the short trip home. And uh, let's see what happens next. So we got the stock tank out of, off of my trailer and uh, ended up putting it on a flat spot. And we've got like a big landscaping plan we are getting ready to do here in a little bit. So this is kind of a temporary solution. We had uh, several kids that were over last, week, last weekend, about a week ago, I guess. And so we went ahead and just kind of filled it up so they could get in the water. A uh, couple things that uh, we did do when filling it up, we've got hard water. So you can kind of see on the end of our hose here, that's a, a hose filter for an RV. We use that just to uh, just kind of keep the water clean going in there. We added chemical to it and the water turned green instantly after adding chlorine. And we don't have the filter, so the water's... Either going to need some chemicals or be drained, which we're going to put a, a liner in here eventually. We have the liner. It's just, uh, you know, doing one step at a time. I dug our old Intex pump and sand filter out from when we had an above ground pool. And uh, got it right here. And when I first turned it on, nothing would happen. And I ended up... Uh, taking these bolts out here, taking this off, and just giving the uh, impeller a little spin, and it fired right up, and we tested out the other night, and it worked really good, but we don't have the sand filter in there. So I just, uh, I'm working on the sand filter now, you're gonna see that in just a minute here. But like I said, we got this, kinda gave it a test, it's working out, we had a tree that, uh, is growing we needed a trim so we could get kind of mowed underneath it and it's going to be part of our landscaping so i got my saker mini chainsaw out as well and uh like i said just just a temporary setup but now that i have this we're going to go up and uh take a little look at what i've done with the sand filter okay so i'm here with the sand filter i brought it up the sand that was in there was pretty gross i took it out I'm going to see if I can clean it up and uh, see if there are some areas of maybe the yard that I can put it down on. But, you know, it has been sitting. Just want to make sure it's not like, you know, with chemicals or mold or have mold or something in it. Uh, so that's one thing I'm going to check. But, so this had a collar on it that was right here. I just took the collar off, pulled this up. There's a little thing in there. It's uh, like fins that the water goes through and uh, goes through all the filter. I pulled all the sand out by hand. I've got it in my tractor bucket right now. But instead of replacing the sand, we got these filter balls. And I've been, you know, looking at them, looking at how they work, and uh, they seem pretty promising, so we're gonna give it a shot. One pound of these replaces 100 pounds of sand, so, you know, this will be a little easier to move around if I have to move it around. And uh, when uh, these little balls get dirty, they were, I think it was like 25, 26 bucks for a pound of these. 
And when these get dirty, you just take them out, you clean them. I've seen some people throw them in the washing machine. Uh, some people just take them and squeeze them and all the nastiness gets out. So as uh, things go on, you know, we'll kind of see. Another thing uh, from doing the research on these two is we've got a little skimmer that we're going to put on the stock tank. And uh, I've seen a lot of people will take these and they put them in the skimmer as well. And it kind of gets a lot of the junk out before it actually even gets to the filter. So uh, I'm saving a little extra out just for that. But we're going to get these in. I'm going to put this filter back together and uh, go hook it up. And then the next step is going to be uh, getting the skimmer ready. Okay, so I got some of the parts in and uh, we're getting it a little more put together, hopefully by tomorrow. We should have everything else. I can hook it up and just make sure everything is going to work. But then also uh, the kids can use it until, you know, we get the final place where we're going to put it with the landscaping. And then at that point, I think we're probably going to paint the outside and all. But that's uh, a little ways off. So I got this hose here. I got the little cotton balls in the sand filter and we're going to see how those work. I'm actually going to fire this up here in just a few minutes. Uh, but the hoses I had, they were older, they were kind of leaking. So uh, I got a couple of the new hoses in, which is what I've got running here. The, uh, the outlet that goes into the pool, I've got a waterfall ordered. That should be in tomorrow. So you should see a video or should see that in this video. Uh, on the next part of it. But the other thing that I've got and uh, took it to the hose and cleaned it up a little bit. It's gotten a little dirt on it now, but uh, this is from our old above ground pool. This was a skimmer that we had. And uh, I'm basically gonna see if I can get it to mount onto the stock tank and uh, use it to uh, kind of help filter stuff. And I've got a few more of the uh, cotton ball things for the sand filter and I'm going to put those in there too to kind of help filter stuff before it even gets there. So uh, time to start hooking this up and we're going to give it a test run. Okay we did uh, hook it up and fire it up. The skimmer needs uh, another connector that I'm going to have to figure out and get. And uh, definitely going to need a little Teflon tape on this. Uh, the hoses, you can see, you are kind of leaking a little bit. They didn't on the old one. But, uh, but yeah, they are uh, in a couple different spots. And these are new hoses, so, you know, I'm sure it's probably because it's an old pump. But, uh, you know, we did kind of prime it, put everything in just to see how it would work. And it's... Yeah, it's shooting uh, water out pretty good. And you can kind of see here. And it's stirring up all the stuff on the bottom now that uh, I need the skimmer to skim and everything to skim out. But uh, that's why we're testing it now before we, uh, you know, get it nice or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Should have some more stuff in for it tomorrow, and uh, I'll be adding to this video then. And we're finally to the end phase of uh, where we're at right now. I mean, it's not the end phase altogether, but it's probably where we're going to stop for about a month or two until we, you know, get into our landscaping project. But I added... A few things and the video just didn't come out for some reason with the camera so I'm reshooting after I've done it but uh, show you kind of how we finished everything up got the pump set up I've got uh, right now just uh, just a hose going in sucking water because I can't get it to fit on the skimmer I need some kind of attachment but uh, we ran the pump to the sand filter Pretty much all but one, I uh, put some plumber's tape on and it stopped the leak. You can kind of see a little bit, the one I didn't get, so I am going to have to come back and do that. But uh, uh, we came over, I did not want to drill holes into the stock tank because once we 
put an in-ground pool in, I'm probably going to use this for animals. So I'd really rather not have holes in it. So I ended up with uh, this little waterfall thing. And I'm going to put a link to, to it. I'll actually, I'll put a link to the pump, to the filter, to the waterfall, and uh, also probably some smaller filters, because you really don't need to go this big. This is a little overkill, but it's what I had. That way I didn't have to spend any more money. And I, I just like to repurpose, reuse things. But anyway, we put the, the waterfall in, and it, I mean, it's real simple to put together. Uh, it takes about maybe two minutes to put it in. It does kind of go at an angle. I'm not that crazy about, the, about it, but uh, they're made for an above ground pool. So with the stock tank, it doesn't clamp on quite as well. And uh, that is actually, it's called a flow clear. They're made by Best Way. And again, I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in one. It's got a little LED light on it. I don't know how much at night we're going to be out here in the time being, but uh, it's just battery operated and it changes colors. The other thing I did is I uh, ran by Dollar Tree and grabbed me uh, some pool noodles and just kind of put them around the side. I think it gives it a little nicer look. Also, not that, you know, you're cutting yourself or anything getting in and out, but a little more comfortable getting in and out. I did, when uh, last night, I added some algae killer to it. Not thinking, because the water was a little green, but uh, apparently it wasn't from algae. It was from metal in the water or metal from the stock tank. So it just foamed up and kind of, you know, you can kind of see there's some stuff I got to clean now that looks kind of kind of nasty. There, The whole thing was covered with about two inches of foam right after I turned the pump on from that. And uh, so if that happens to you, well, first of all, if you get algicide, do not get the copper base, get the other type. That will keep it from happening. But if it does happen to you, a real simple way besides time to uh, take care of it is I took the skimmer net and I went through and I skimmed it out about three or four times. I added a bag of shock to it and the shock will pretty well get rid of it in about a half hour, hour, at least most of it. And uh, before I added the shock, I just kind of backwashed it a little bit. And it's mostly cleared up. Kind of looks like a little cloudy until it probably does on camera, but when really when you look at it, just it's the color of the stock tank because it's uh, that color. I mean, you can see the bottom of it. So I don't know, I'm gonna be working with the water here and uh, you know, see, take some tests, see what I need to do next. But that's kind of where we're at for the time being. Another uh, probably two months or so, we've got a big landscape project we're gonna start in on. We're putting an outdoor theater in by the house, uh, some concrete pads where we can put the hot tub and probably move this over there. And that's when we'll do I get a little fancy with the landscaping on it and uh, an outdoor kitchen as well but that's kind of where we're at now uh, doesn't uh, doesn't look too bad I just need to get the weed eater out here because it's that time of year to where everything stops growing and then all of a sudden you turn around and you got you know little weeds here and there and it's got to get it out again or get the weed eater out again so anyway it's Matt from McGee Farms if you're building your own stock tank pool, hopefully this helped you out or gave you some inspiration. If you like the channel, if you like the videos, please consider giving us a like, thumbs up, uh, leave some comments, or subscribing to the channel because it does help us grow and it is greatly appreciated. Till next time, have a great day.